Hey there, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Okay, I'm going for a new uh, for a YouTube record. I got a response less than an hour ago, so it's going to be just over an hour before I actually put out a video responding to a problem question from a viewer. So I think that we'll call it one hour from the time he asked a question till the time I put out a video solving his problem. And I don't know, I challenge anybody out there to do it faster than me. So, what was the question? He told me, if you remember, a couple of, uh, earlier today, I did a video on this. If you recognize this, this is the uh, Namkuda. Yeah, Namkuda. Uh, and it goes on Allen wrenches to make them into T-handles. And you can use this on any size. Uh, Allen wrench. It actually is pretty cool little design. But anyway, Larry Galt asked me a question from this. And he says, I wish I had something like that for my C-clamps. And I got to thinking about it. And I thought, oh, I already have something like that. I made one over a year ago that I've been using. That I guess I've been keeping it a secret. So I thought I'd share it with you. In fact, I had to make one special for my clients. Let me show you what I did. But before I do, I just want you to know that solving problems like this is what I really love to do. Uh, I've done it so many times in my past videos. And probably the first one that I can think of, and probably the biggest one that I can remember, was when I did my panel saw series. I first did how to cut big sheets in a small shop and a couple other videos about my panel saw that goes on my overhead door after that. That all derived from somebody asking me uh, how to cut full sheets of plywood in a real small shop. And the shop was like uh, not much bigger. It was just about the size of a one-car garage, a small one-car garage. And so I showed him. I thought about it for a week. I figured out how to do it. I showed it to him, and next thing you know, I decided, hey, I could do that on my overhead door. So it became a big video all to itself. Anyway, I like to solve people's problems when they have tell me something that they're trying to accomplish or they hate that they have to do this. That gets me to thinking in my OTB thinking way. So anyway, with that in mind, he asked me, how do you tighten C-clamps. He says, these little handles, man, they were just so hard to really bear down and to really tighten things up. Well, let me show you what I've got. On the Xylus vise right here, it attaches to the side of your workbench with a double clamp system. And this is what it looks like. Uh, this one is the attachment, the accessory for on the end. So anyway, it sets over the top of it and then you just tighten these down to hold it in place. This is upside down, but I want you to see these. And so in order to tighten these down, I found that I couldn't hardly on the vise, especially they kept slipping. They just couldn't, I just didn't have what I needed in my hand to get them tight. So I made a very simple wood block, two by four, a little piece of two by four. And I took, and I put a quarter inch slot in it and a, um, three quarter inch hole, I think it is in here, something like that. And that's so that it fits. Right over, if you can see this particular wing nut here on the bottom of my vise, this fits perfectly right over the hump of that, like that. So now I have this to give me that little cheater bar area. So now when I tighten it down, if I tighten this down as tight as I can with my hand, with my fingers until it hurts, I can put this on there and actually without it even being uncomfortable, I can tighten this a whole lot tighter now. It's really great, and it works great on my Xylus vice and accessories. But when he asked me that question, it made me dawned on me. Oh, I could use this on my little vices. So I got my little vice out, and I took and I put it on there, and I went, oh, look at that. Works perfect. So you can actually use this on my vices, except if I take a, this is a 5 inch and an 8 inch, uh, 5 inch and a 4 inch clamp. This is much bigger than this one. So I decided, okay, we're going to have to make his big brother. But since I'm going to make his big brother, I can also make it better and bigger. So I made its big brother, just like this. It has the slot in it, but I made the slot wider so that it will fit over 
these as because this is much smaller this slot just doesn't fit on there so I made this big brother now but I've run a couple improvements first thing I did is I put two holes in it instead of just one in the center so that I can actually put it on there to one side instead of centered I can put it on either spot but what else is so cool about this is I also put right at the bottom of the hole I pull drilled a 5 16 hole and I put some of those little Harbor Freight uh, magnets they're 5 16 in diameter by an eighth inch uh, thick great little magnets you can buy 10 of them for like two and a half bucks from Harbor Freight I buy third I buy three or four or five of these at a time and I just use them everywhere I have some sitting right here that I put a little red on them so I don't lose them right here but the reason I have these readily available is that whenever I'm using my power drills or a screwdriver I can pop them on there just like that and it's red so it's easy to see so if they accidentally get stuck somewhere they're easier to spot because <laughs> you know how magnets can hide out in plain sight sometimes so it's on there now so that now if I take a screw I can put it on there and it holds that screw for me while I put it in and it works real well for the magnet on there and if you take the magnet off of course then it doesn't work so these little magnets from Harbor Freight the 5 16 by 1 8 I'll leave a link to the Harbor Freight number for these in the description but they're great so I took two of them put one in the bottom of each of these holes so when I now slip it on one of these that little magnet is just enough to make it stay in place so that now it actually will stay on there for me while I'm using it and if I want to I can put it out here to one side instead so then you can just take and really easily spin it so this is the great little handle when you get it where you want it when you get it where you want it you just put it on there and you can just tighten just as tight as you want with this and I guarantee you this thing is tight so you can get it much tighter with just a little cheetah bar a cheetah block and like I said I put little magnets in there to help hold that in place now I did put some tape over that just to protect it because I also put a layer of wood glue over the top of the magnets because they were recessed to make this all more level and then I put this piece of tape on there just until everything gets good and dry so the magnets won't pop out uh, so that's why that blue tape is in there but anyway it works perfect and it works great on any kind of plant not only that it dawned on me after using this not only can you use it on vices and on seed plants I think I'm gonna make one of these that fits my little taps tap and die for the little taps because sometimes when you get this and you're trying to screw that in there that's really hard to hold in the center if I take one of these and drill the hole in the center to just fit in there and make this slot so that this thing fits in there just perfect and tight this actually would make for a real nice handle to give you good control over starting and tapping using this tap with a little handle like this so I'm actually going to take this design and design one specifically for my taps for this particular adapter for my taps because this actually is going to make it so much easier to use my taps then so anyway stay tuned for that you'll see how that is so Larry I want to thank you Larry Galt he's the one that asked me the question I want to thank you for asking me that because now all of a sudden not only did I get to make another one so that I can even do bigger clamps big brother but now I'm also going to make a little brother for my tap set. So, awesome. This is what I like, is when you guys give me, talk to me, and you talk about things or how things relate to you. Sometimes it makes a life go on, and then all of a sudden I see things like this. Like I said, I've talked about this before, but I never really put it together that it's a multitasker. It also does clamps too, and apparently I can also use it for doing taps. So, anyway, I don't know what to call it. Uh, but you know what to do with it and you know how it is as far as making it this one was four inches by inch and a quarter by um, an inch and 
a half, I think, is what it was. So it, was, it used to be inch and a quarter by inch and a half by four inches. It's Big Brother, his five and a quarter by two inches by inch and a half. This slot is just over seven sixteenths because it had to be wider than the little ball on my biggest C-clamp, that, that little ball here on the end. That, this one is 7 16 so this had to be wider than that 7 16 so that little ball goes in there. And then this, I just did a 5 8 hole, because this is on about right at 9 16 and that was the biggest one I had, so that made it so that it would fit nice and snug, uh, a little bit not so loose on there. And it makes it work real good. So, that's the sizes of it. Uh, the depth of this is about an inch and a half on this one. You can make it whatever depth you think is necessary. As you can see how far it goes down on there. It goes down on there about an inch. So it looks like that must be about an inch deep. So anyway, if you have any questions about how to make the groove or how wide it is, uh, I just started with a square block. And after I got the slot cut and the holes drilled, first to drill the holes, cut your slot, Redrill your hole for your little magnet. Put your magnets in there. Then you can come back and shape the outside to whatever kind of shape you want to make it rather than leaving it square. You could leave it square. So anyway, so there it is. Little brother, you got my papa bear, mama bear. Now I'm going to make the baby one. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and looking at what I had and let me do two videos in a row. And also let me go for the record of having the fastest response on a video from a viewer. If you have any questions, any comments, any ideas, or maybe want to kind of solve a problem of something else, leave it in the comments. Uh, I do read them all and I, I do try to respond to them as fast as I can. Uh, if you like this video or you learned something here, and I'll bet you did learn something. Uh, hit that like button. It helps me know I'm doing the right thing and YouTube. Most importantly, though, please come back again because I'm nowhere near done around here. Thanks. But again, we'll see you very soon.